Hello, uh, good morning. Uh, today we're going to revise on the physics, uh, pure physics uh, chapter, electromagnetic induction. Uh, electromagnetic induction is a process, uh, simply put, it means to make use of change of magnetism, change of magnetic flux to produce electric EMF and electric current. So the name already suggests uh, it's using elect a magnetic a change of magnetic flux to produce electric current and, and electric uh, EMF. Now, uh, a typical question would be such that there is a coil. Now, this coil is made of copper wire. Uh, by itself, it should not have current. It should, have should not have magnetism. Uh, we connect it to the galvanometer, which is a, a sensor, uh, a meter that shows whether a small current is being detected. So this is uh, what we call a copper coil. Now, uh, there, we if we place a permanent magnet, okay, next to it. Now, even if it's near, if it's not moving, there should not be any electromagnetic induction. Only when it start to move. Suppose now, if I push in, the galvanometer will deflect to one side. If I pull out, the galvanometer will deflect momentarily to the the other side. So how do we explain explain this? Now there is magnetic flux coming out from the permanent magnet. So as we push in, the magnetic flux will cut the copper coil. Uh, this will create a change. The keyword is change of magnetic flux or magnet magnetic field in this uh, metal wire. And this change will cause uh, this change of magnetic flux will cause electromagnetic induction. Now, what is being induced will be so-called electromotive force. And if the circuit is complete, is a complete circuit, current will also be induced. So the keyword is: as I push in, you can see that the magnetic flux will go nearer, and it cuts this. Uh, metal wire coil because of this increase it gets from weak to strong there's a change in magnetic flux and it causes electromagnetic induction emf induced and current induced so as you push in the galvanometer deflect to one direction uh, momentarily and then if you stop pushing even if the magnet is in the coil if it's not moving there will be no change of magnetic flux no electromagnetic induction and no emf induced and the galvanometer will at the center position showing that there's no current so if you if we push in the magnet you deflect one direction if we pull out the magnet you deflect in the other direction now if we want to increase the emf and the current induced we have to make use of faraday's law it says that the rate of change of the magnetic flux is proportional is proportional to the EMF induced so if we want a larger current being induced there are three methods first we push the magnet faster we use a stronger magnet or we have more turns in the coil all this will lead to higher rate of change of magnetic flux and higher EMF induced and we call this the Faraday's law now lastly, uh, how which direction would the induced current be when we push in the North Pole? Now we have to use Lenz law. As I push in North Pole, the Lenz law states that the induced current will try to oppose the change, which means that when I try to push in, it try to push out. So a North Pole will be induced here. Using the right hand grip rule, this is North. This is a right hand grip rule. So the induced current will be in this direction. Now, likewise, if I pull out the North Pole, the induced current try to oppose the change, it will be induced a South Pole here, and therefore the current will reverse direction according to the right hand grip rule. So uh, this is a basic introduction to electromagnetic induction. Thank you.